Okay, so first of all, this video is definitely going to seem like clickbait, and I understand that it would seem like clickbait, but I actually have my proof for this video. Let's just say I am still pretty mad about it. Uh, in case you couldn't tell by the title, I was almost $3,500 in debt, uh, and I'm only 16. So, uh, here's one thing to think about. I'm a minor. How am I going to pay off $3,500? Because if I took it out as payments like my dad's doing, because they, the social security screwed up his stuff too, it would still take me five years. Uh, reason number two, I'm a minor. And uh, that's a benefits check from my dead mother. And they're saying that they sent too much money. I can say so much of what's wrong with that. One, if they sent too much money, that's their fault. I'm not the one that made them send more money than they were supposed to send. But either way, all the checks are about 600. I know I shouldn't be saying this, but I, I'm pretty sure this is something I should put out there so you guys know. There's 600 and every check I've received has been 600. So it makes no sense that I received $3,473 more in social security benefits than I was due. And again, these are benefits that I got from my mom. And my dad already had this taken away because apparently he was sent $6,000 more than he was supposed to. And they took it away from him whenever I was 16. Now you see, that would seem okay, except they took it away from him whenever I was 14. So now, whenever I turn 18, they're going to be taking my benefits away from me. And that's how we pay most of our rent. Meaning we have one of two options. I get more money per paycheck and my dad gets more money per paycheck. Or as soon as I finish high school, I have to move out so my dad can pay rent and not have to worry about buying all the stuff he has to buy for me. Neither of those options sound like good options, but they're the options that I have to consider. And no, I'm not going to start a GoFundMe because one, I doubt I'd get the funding because I'm not that well known, and two, uh, I support GoFundMe for certain things, but this isn't something that deserves funding because, you know, it shouldn't be a problem in the first place. This is something I couldn't control that they're then punishing me for. So this is the letter, and I'm not covering up that because that is just my mailbox. So if you want to send me mail, there you go. Have fun, but, uh, yeah. If you want to read it, uh, go ahead. Now, the good thing is, I'm not having to pay it. They're just taking $75 a month out. But, just the fact that, uh, they would be stupid enough to do this to a 16-year-old, which they should have on record that I am a minor and that there's no way I can pay this. Here are the reasons why I shouldn't pay, which I fall into all of these. Again, it was not your fault that you got too much social security money. How the heck would that be my fault? I am not the one that sends the money. They are. It would be their fault by default. And, Paying us back would mean you cannot pay for your bills, food, clothing, housing, medical care, or other necessary expenses, or it would be unfair. Uh, yeah, that means my benefits check would be taken away, meaning we can't pay bills. And also, it's unfair because I'm 16 working an almost minimum wage job. 
So yes, I am still in a bad mood about it, even though I don't have to pay the full amount. But even then, them taking money out of my benefits check for a mistake that they made is punishing me for something I can't control. That's like punishing a dog for barking. I mean, yeah, it's not exactly something you want them to be doing, but just because you think it's annoying doesn't mean you should punish them. Or like a baby for crying. You wouldn't spank a baby for crying. It's not their fault. They're a baby. They can't help but cry. So, um, uh, long story short, uh, by the time I turn 18, I'm basically gonna be punished for something that's completely out of my control and could have easily been avoided if Social Security had just realized, hey, we're sending him too much money. So it's gonna be nice to know the fact that I'm going to be pretty deep in debt by the time I'm finishing high school. Uh, is it fair? No, not at all. This is, this is not a fair situation. This is a situation that could have been easily avoided and a situation that shouldn't even be happening right now. But, because they made the mistake, it's my fault. Don't you just love double standards?